you're changing your story again, Aaron. Last time we spoke, it was ghosts. Now demons? Demons, yeah, they... These creatures, they started doing things. What do they do exactly? They hurt them. Them? The people they possess. And how do they do that? They're not exactly the same. Some of them bully and harass. Some attack suddenly and cause real pain. The one just follows them around stealing things. I see. Do you think that perhaps you're giving these beings too much attention? Is it possible that your constant acknowledgement of these beings makes them stronger? Maybe if you were to just try to focus... Enough. Enough. Don't believe me. No one ever believes me. That's why I'm here. You think I'm insane? No, Aaron. I'm just trying to help you. You shouldn't feed. Hold. Oh. In... If you're trying to help, you trust me. Over down here. You mean he won't well, I take it? Hey! So the meeting went well? He still doesn't believe me. Now, in his defense, he is a therapist. He asked a question every day. Why'd you have to go again? Something about anger issues. At least that's what my dad says. Plus, talking about ghosts and stuff is gonna freak some people out. Not us, though. We believe you. Yeah, not us, though. At that time, you're smoking with that big skeleton. Come on, Zeke. Leave it alone. Okay. All I'm saying, smoking pot makes you dumb. And dumb boys are rash. See, things aren't there. Okay? Now, anybody hungry? Are you hungry? No. I'm not that hungry. T, you've skipped lunch five times now. It's fine. You guys go without me. I've got homework to do anyway. I'm, 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 not, I'm not hungry. I'm just going to head back. Those things, the things I see, um, something you should know about that key. Perhaps we can pick up 
where we left off last time. Sure. Thank you. Today I'd like to try a bit of role-playing to see if I can better understand exactly what it is you see. I can't help you if I don't understand. Is this okay? Yeah, yeah. okay. So, you believe me? I do. Done a bit more research and I'm prepared to do whatever it is we have to to help you out. So, let's try this. I'll be you. You'll be one of the possessed. Okay. Um... So that's my friends. So... I'll... I'll be Zeke. With his shadow. Alright. Proceed. Shadow I've seen shows up when he's most stressed out. It just sits there and then slows closer. <sighs> Makes him freak, lose control, and then it just strikes. that well that's what happens when you get in an accident and land yourself in the hospital if I wanted your opinion I would have asked for it I'm just disappointed I'm gonna be missing the first game of the season maybe that's for the best Zeke what happened in that car were you drinking no no, it, it was an accident. Accidents happen. Come on, Zeke. We're not idiots. People don't just wreck their cars. Yeah, they do. It happens all the time. You know what? Forget it. Pass me the remote. Enough! Uh, how long are you guys going to keep this up? How, how long are you going to pretend like nothing's going on? How about I tell you all about your problems then, huh? How, how, then we can talk about it. You've got a ghost hand haunting you. You've got a monster blocking your reflection. And, and you have a shadow trying to kill you. The best thing you can do is listen to them and ask questions. What if they don't want to? What if they don't trust me to do that? If they don't want to, they won't, but that's it's not what matters. What matters is you're there for them when they need you. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I know you guys don't believe me, but you've got to trust me. I, I know these things are hurting you. Just let me help. Please, talk to me. He's right, guys. You're right. I am? You know about the hand? I've carried that weight with me since I was four years old. When my house burned down. I was out playing in the yard and... I saw my mother disappear. Smoke. I was just a kid. I I couldn't do anything. Some days aren't all that bad. Some days I'm genuinely happy. <sighs> then it comes to drown me, and I just feel like, well, if I died tomorrow, then that would be okay. It's okay, Beck. I get it. That monster, it's real. But it's just me. It's, it's how I see myself. And I, I, sometimes I swear it, it's even talking to me. It's, it's telling me how pathetic I am, how I'll never be good enough, I won't be pretty enough, and I won't be skinny enough. I hate it. I hate the reflection. And all I ever hear it say is that I'll never be good enough. 
I don't have a tragic backstory like you guys. Being, being honest, the shadow frightens me, yeah. I mean, like one moment I'm just driving and it kind of like attacks or whatever. claustrophobic. It's like not much space around. Even like the simplest things that I just can't do. I'll just break. You, you know, you, you guys could have talked to me about this, even if you guys don't trust me. What are you talking about? Of course we trust you. We should have told you. And we should have told each other. Really? You, you guys trust me? Of course we trust you. It's light in the mood. Grab that. Come on. Good evening, Aaron. It's been a few weeks since I last saw you. How is Zeke doing? Uh, better. So much better. We're all doing so much better. Awesome. I'm glad to hear. What's changed? We talked. They didn't hide their demons away anymore. They found things to help them fight back against the voices. Of course, the demons are still there, they just haven't gone away. But the thing is, I think they're okay with that, and I think I am too. So, you still see them, but you have control. They have control of them. I'm just there to help. Well, I'm happy for you, Aaron. Thank you, Dr. Markovich. Thank you.